Hi, Spoiled Pretty readers. I'm Chloe Kardashian, and you are about to get beauty schooled. All right, so the first question is, describe your everyday beauty routine. Every day. Um, normally in the daytime, I don't tend to wear as much makeup. Um, I don't really like... I never wear foundation in the daytime unless I'm doing an appearance or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't like how it feels if I'm running around on my face. Mascara is like a must for me. I always do mascara, a little bit of blush, and lips, and I'm good to, and fill in my eyebrows, and I'm good to go. Um, that's normally just like my everyday day. Night, I'm like the smoke queen on my eyes. I love smoky. Mario knows that. If I but anything, it could be smoky browns or like bronzes, blacks, grays, like it doesn't have to just be a dark smoke. It could even be, like he'll do light browns sometimes on me just to give me what I want, but it still looks really natural. Mario knows how to like play with makeup where it still looks like I don't have makeup on, but he still gives me what I want. So it feels like I know I have my smoke done. Great. You know, every I feel like every client or just every woman in general feels comfortable with a certain thing, you know, a certain a certain thing, and I think smoky eyes is that for Chloe. So it could, doesn't have to be a black smoky eye, like she said, it can be a light smoky eye, it could be sometimes without a liner, but, you know, if it's smoky, she just, I feel like it's Chloe, you know, Chloe, that's that's Chloe's look. And that's that's how, their trademark. Yeah, even that's though, nice. even though to me, Chloe looks beautiful with any kind of makeup, you know, she feels like Chloe the most when she has her smoky eye. I just feel like sexy. I don't know what it is with the smoky eye. And that's me and I know how to do it myself too. So if I don't have Mario, I it's not as good as what he does, but I could do it. And I know like the cat eye that like my sister does that Mario, I cannot do that by my, I do not know how to do that. So I like to keep it simple where I, like I mastered the smoky, I could do that. So my second question is when you and Courtney moved to Miami, did your beauty routine change at all? Miami was hard because the humidity, it really was, I think, like my skin would break out more just because I, you have to adjust. So I think, I don't know, I definitely wasn't as heavy with the makeup in Miami. Um, whether it be, because I was filming basically every day I was there. So when I film, I do wear foundation and stuff like that, to even out my skin tone, but we, Mario was doing my makeup in Miami, and he definitely, we played with a different foundation, probably. I have very weird, my skin is very oily, but then dry, and I break out easily, so we had to play with a ton of different foundations. It was really frustrating, but towards the end, we found it. Like, we put nothing on my forehead, because my forehead, I don't know, it would just separate all the time, and Mario just found the trick, and that's the good thing. He opens himself up to learning new things and um, he tried to like you know make me happy and we found it and we just stuck with it and now we found out what works for me in humidity. <laughs> yeah I mean that was my goal in Miami like I I used to constantly think about it after I left the makeup room and like oh my god like I wonder what's happening with the makeup I mean it was my goal to find the solution to that problem and this is the foundation that works amazing and lasts all day if you in the humidity. It's the, the Nude by Dior. It's natural glow hydrating makeup. And normally we use a cream foundation so yeah. we didn't really think to do a liquid and then towards the end we well he found it and he did it and there was like my eyes have always been the same we don't really play like that's just a set thing but it was my skin was the biggest problem for me and I just couldn't figure it out and I and for me, if it was my normal day, I would not put any, I would like spot treat if I had a breakout. I just spot treat, I don't like putting it all over. But filming, it's HD and you look crazy if you don't, like even out your skin tone. And thank God he found it and it happened to be liquid, which you would think, I don't know, I would think it would look blotchier in that humidity, but it worked. Great. Um, so if I peeked into your makeup bag, Chloe, what products would I find? Um, I always have lip liner, it's normally MAC, Spice, uh, Lancome Hypnose Mascara, always. What's the powder that we use, the um, yellow one? Oh, the, um, it's Banana by Ben Nye. It's a, Literally, it's more of a, a, an industry a brand powder. 
it's I am Armenian. I'm oily, and my sisters make fun of me. I have in my makeup bag at all time. Every time I go out, I'm in a club powder, powdering my T zone because I I hate shine. Like some people love that dewy look. No, no, no. I need to be matte. Trust me, my natural Armenian oils come through. So powder is on me no matter where I am. But those like lip gloss, mascara, and powder are things that I will not leave home without. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm oily too. And I remember the episode where you came to New York and you met up with Jonathan mm -hmm. and you guys were in the car and you were like patting your face. Oh, I and I was know. like, that's my life. That's the story of my life. I'm always with no. some blotting papers. You know what works well? If you're in a pinch, um, the Starbucks brown napkins, no. they absorb no. shine like nobody's business. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that's secret. that's your new tip. And I love Starbucks. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, powder, everyone, like Kim, even in Atlantic City, was so humid. And Kim was like, where's Chloe? Where's Chloe? I need her clutch. Everyone knows on me is powder at all times. It's amazing. 